Oh, I'm back. I'm home. And I look like a bum. So next time I go away for a period of several days, will someone remind me to take a shaver? Because what is that? Time to solve the problem. Job done. Time for some sit-ups. Because I certainly wasn't doing those in Italy. It's time to get swagged out. Because, you know, who doesn't keep the brand new Syndicate summer collection on their dining room table? Oh, saucy, saucy, saucy. Very nice. No, oh, it's actually very nice that I get to showcase that when the sun's actually out. Because my name is Tom and this is my vlog where I film every single weekday of my life and I have my own clothing line and we like to release uh, comfy warm tracksuits in the height of summer, short sleeve t-shirts in the storms of winter, but we're basically trying to change that. And I will say this right now on this gorgeous, gorgeous day, ladies and gentlemen, welcome your faces to a new dawn and a new day. My name is Tom and like I said, I film every single weekday of my life. It has been a busy, busy life last few weeks of vlogging. I've been to Saudi Arabia, I've been to Italy on a baby moon, and it has just been absolutely brilliant. But I'm back home, I'm not going anywhere for quite a while, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of excited. Because in 64 days, our baby's gonna be here. We have got so much housework that we have to get ready for. As you can see, we've been revamping the kitchen, we're redecorating the lounge, we've got a playroom to put together, and only because it's necessary, my office says I know it, is going to become the nursery and we have to get that all done within the next two months. So be sure to subscribe, because we are gonna have to step things up to a serious degree here on this channel. Now talking about stepping, <laughs> get it? We're gonna take a stroll around the side of the house because oh boy, over the last, I think it's 28 days or something, the new grass in the garden has been coming together nicely, give or take the fact that it looks like KSI's patchy beard. And I'm not sure what's going on here, but I'm going to take one bloody guess and say badgers. However, I can say, how good does this look? The new tree line, the new garden. Need to work on some new steps because they're a bit dangerous. Can't exactly see it being safe for a kid to run up these. You know, sharp edges and all. But it is all coming together greatly. Now, I just want to clarify something. I love going on holiday and I love traveling and everything, but I am a man of creature comforts. I like being home. I like knowing where everything is. I like knowing where everyone is. Do you know what I mean? It's just, it's just the way I like to live my life. Now, don't get me wrong. I love going away, jumping on a plane and going somewhere new, experiencing something different, a different culture, a different world. I absolutely love it. But I just love being home. I've got so much stuff going on and in the works that I'm just excited to get on with. Honestly, like the last two weeks of being away, I've been like anxiously checking my emails and my messages because I've got like so much stuff in the works that I'm just like, please, please, can we have an amazing holiday? Can we have the time of our lives? But can we get back and we start the epic shit? Which is where we are and, oh, it's time for the most important meal of the day. Breakfast. <laughs> and you know what I've just realized that I've not had in the longest time? PG tips, get in my belly. It's got to be settling. I love traveling. But there really isn't. No place like home. Did I say that right? There's... There any place like yeah, I didn't think I said that right. There's no place like home, especially with this setup. Just look at that. You're not freaking open properly. Yeah. Are you happy to be home as well? Oh, look at that. Look at that view. It's not quite Lake Lugano or Como or Gardner or whatever it is in Italy. Do you know what it is? <laughs> It's like garden. Why are you laughing? Why are you laughing? Why are you laughing at me? It's lovely confidence with everything. <laughs> 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 well, it kind of is like garden because I can see it from here. But it is a Monday, Monday morning, which means admin time. Got the laptop, we're chilling. Got a lot of emails to make, got a lot of phone calls to make. We've got a really exciting day today. And... <gasps> Could you forget? No. Oh my gosh. Today, we get to meet the baby. But the baby has to wait, because it's call cam time. Oh, look what the cat dragged in. Good morning, Ben. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Are you doing our last year, right? Yeah, it's your nice holiday. You've nearly got a tan there, haven't you? Do you think I look brown? Nearly. Do I look browner than you? No. No. I've been under 12 stone without fail, day after day after day, week after week at the moment. Ah, <sighs> let's see what Italy's saying. <laughs> what do you reckon I am? I reckon 12-6. Mm, hey, no, you, you know it's serious. I've even taken my watch off. Okay, right, you ready? All right. And the survey says, oh! 12-3. Go on. This is where I need Elliot Page back in my life. 
because I do not think he would be too impressed with me walking out the house in Yeezys with holes in them. Elliot, I'm sorry. Now I find myself in Lydia's car because we're sat outside the hospital because Lydia's just gone inside for a whooping cough. I think I think it's a vaccine, I could be wrong. Uh, for the baby. So she's gone in there. I think she might be doing some filming behind the scenes. So if you've got some Lydia footage, we'll roll it now. Hey you. So I'm leaving you in the car. Yeah, and dropping you off near police apparently. Uh, While I go in to the hospital to get my whooping cough vaccine. Oh, are you Tom? <laughs> <laughs> See how brave she was. Oh, he's, he's, waiting, he's waiting for me in the car. Oh, awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you very welcome. Not bad, 22 minutes later. <laughs> hey, look at that belly. Like, How'd it go? So where did they eject you? In my arm. I took a video for you. Oh, you go girl. I'm very proud of you for becoming this ultimate vlogger. Well done, you Thanks. and you and baby. Thanks. So I'm treating you to five guys. And it's Yay. got nothing to do with me being fat. Well, actually, it's not. We're actually picking up five guys to take to Becky and Wes. And we're about to go meet their baby boy. I'm so excited. Honestly, I can't express how happy I am. <laughs> um, and I'm going to need a small loan. I've got a burger for me, Lydia, Mum, Alice, Nino, Wes and Becky. Crikey. And out of all the drinks choices at Five Guys, what are we having? Leave a comment down below. Yeah, I'm actually gonna go Dr. Pepper. And don't even tell me to go for strawberry, cherry or cherry vanilla. Regular Dr. Pepper is king. Now, I'm pacing. I'm pacing outside Five Guys. Because I am making phone calls to lawyers and solicitors to get shit done. Unfortunately, that noise is in the background and the solicitor that I just rang He's on a lunch break, so I'm waiting for a phone call back to try and see if we've had any progress with what's going on. Oh, and dinner's ready. I am excited. Uber Eats Tom edition. Oh, yes. Oh, da -da 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 Uber Minute, isn't it? Oh, that's really pregnant. Look, look. Tom, love your new dress. Oh, yeah, that, which one? I traded some new dresses. Mama! I'm saying yeah. this right now, I can tell why you're married in Italian. They're all so lovely. Oh, no. I thought you were just one of a kind. Well, you are one of a kind. God, no. that was like an insult. Oh, yeah. I know you mean. You are one of a kind. But man, Italian people. They're pretty friendly. They're way right? better than the French. Yeah. Way better. Yeah, nice right. t shirt. Oh, do you like my t shirt? Yeah. Hey, do you like the pictures I sent you from holiday? Yeah. yeah. Vanda, oh, nice t shirt, Nino. Give us a twirl. Go, Nino. Go, Nino. Go, go. I've got a last, by the way. Do we have shorts coming out? New, sh new style shorts? Yeah, unconfirmed. See you later. We're going meeting baby Luca. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. You say come in or come in? Come in. Okay. <gasps> no, dude. No. This is Uncle Tom and Auntie Lid come to see you. Where's, where's it come out with a full wig on? <laughs> wow. I can't. Becky, well done. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's amazing. Wait, what? Why does he look like a grown ass bloke already? <laughs> wow. Look at his fit. Dude, it's a mini. You. Look at me. Bro, it's a mini you. It's <laughs> yeah, I know. Wait, how, how old is he now? Six days. He's nearly a week old. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was in Italy, bro. He has no idea, does he? He has no idea what life he's coming into. Honestly, he doesn't. <laughs> what a bloke. Yeah. Fist bump. Oh, sorry. Nuggie. <laughs> hey, this man is going to be a baby in your life. Oh, I'm going to be the most annoying man you've ever met. Imagine if he starts scratching. Oh, it kind of looks like he's... It, it look, oh, no. You okay? You got... How is this six-day-old baby? It looks like a 30-year-old man. <laughs> I'm gonna sit down with him. Oh, 
he's brilliant. Oh my gosh, are you good? Oh, can't wait to meet Jelly Man. Oh yeah. Well, it's just two dads, hey? Just two dads hanging yeah. out. Well, we're, we've been a couple for a long time. Everyone knows the longest mates and the reason why. Jelly Man, get in here. <laughs> Imagine when we're sitting here having a beer and just legging it in. It's going to be sick, isn't it? It's going to be so sick. Oh, I can't wait. Is it me? I swear, like, he looks like he's bigger than Alice's Alice. It was a year old. Like, he's massive. What a big... Bo- I'm, so, I'm so proud of him. Honestly, when we found out when we were there walking around, I was like, I looked at the text and no joke, I had like an out-of-body experience. I read the text and I was like, oh, I was like, it hit what it was. And I was like, there's no way they've had the baby. But when I saw it, we, we got to put the picture on. I thought it had a ginger afro. I, was like, I well thought it had a ginger afro. You rang me Monday morning. Yeah. And you was like, oh, how's Becky doing? And stuff yeah. Like, I was like, oh, yeah. She's, like, sat she's here, bent over a gym bar having contractions. And I'm just like, yeah, she's fine. Nothing yet, though. <laughs> like, oh, oh he keeps doing it. Is he dreaming? Probably, yeah. He's dreaming of, like, jolting. He's, he's having a, he's, he's, a, he's, a t- he's having terror dreams about <laughs> us, the stupid shit we're gonna do. Oh, really? When we were three years old together, the, the dash shit we did. Imagine when he's older. <laughs> Look at that sock. Look at that towel. Oh, oh my gosh! Yo. It's got size fifteens. <laughs> Bloody hell! It's LeBron James is up in here. Look at him. Wow. Bro, look at that. He's bad, isn't it? He's so, I'm honestly so proud of you. Yeah, crazy. Now listen, I thought I'd go out on a bit of a different one. You wanted me to pick what you deci- you get him, yeah. so guess what I got you? An hot dog. Yeah. <laughs> I got your hot dog. Hot dog from Five Guys. Who doesn't want a burger from Five Guys, eh? <laughs> you want a hot dog. Wait, why am I causing you pain? <laughs> Miss C-section. <laughs> look at these. Just a bunch of pregnant and been pregnant ladies. Isn't that right, Luca? Yeah, fist bump, bro. Yes, yeah. bro. No, I got you an extra large I would burger. Been, no, don't be daft. I am so proud of you. Ah, oh, Jed. I'm so proud of you. I really enjoyed it a little bit. I'm really looking forward to getting back. <laughs> Just to see him. Have you got nicknames for him? As far as it goes, you, what, in your life you were called Shill, because Stephen yeah, Earl. Wes. And then Wes. Yes. Come on, mate. That is the most wild nickname. I wonder what you're going to be called. What are we going to call you? <laughs> I'm so responsible to have a baby. <laughs> Oh, I'm crying. Cheers, mate. <laughs> hey, as long as your dad's not shouting at me and saying no, we're right, okay. He's growing up to be a foodie already <laughs> on his fifth day of life. He's having fucking five cats. <laughs> I know this is the ultimate foodie group. You've got to get, you've got to get digging in younger, mate. Oh, what? I've just put him in his little chair. <laughs> He's absolutely brilliant, but I'm gonna have to let I'm gonna have to let you sit down for a minute. All right, have a breather after your big fry up that you just had. Because my burger's ready. How is it? Did I do good? Oh, yes! But I just can't stay away from him. Look at his little toes! I say little, look at the size of him. Whoa! You're so min. You can't write this. So, Rachel and Sam, the absolutely adorable people. Do you remember when we went to Ibiza? They, they said thanks for inviting us and giving us a voucher to go to the Ivy for some like food or drinks. But then I've just unwrapped this one, and it's a picture that they've got printed out of Rach when she DJ'd, the boys, and then Becky and Lydia when they were pregnant, but we couldn't show this because no one knew about the baby yet. Oh, that's so cute. That is so nice of them. Oh my gosh. Wait, do you know what? If you actually hold him to your belly, it'll be a baby touching a baby. Oh, 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 oh. So cute. Your best friend, isn't yeah, no, He's I'm tiny. Yep, time for a little bit of inspiration. Oh, Wes. Oh, this is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, it's better decorated than my bedroom. Look at this. It, it's lovely. Oh my gosh, I can't. Look at that little top. Oh, oh man, this is so cute. <laughs> and there's all his bad boy whips. I absolutely love it. That is so nice. I was just saying it's probably better decorated than our bedroom. <laughs> oh, little Luca. I can't wait for you to grow up and for me to get to know you. Yeah. Do you know what my favourite thing is? Yeah. Thinking of what they're going to sound like. Yeah. Oh. Boop. Can't believe his first meal with Uncle Tom was uh, five guys. And he enjoyed it. I'm going to say this right now, Wes. It's going to take him some years to grow into that bed. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, he's opened his eyes. Oh, he's closed his eyes. Hiya, mate. Oh, oh, yeah. 
Oh, there he is. Oh, he's looking at dad. You look like a different baby, don't you, when you're eyes He really does. Don't you? Wow. Wow. I'm so proud of you. I'm honestly so proud of you. I know Becky did all the hard work, but come on. He really did the hard work. <laughs> Hey yeah, is that a snot? Yeah. Is it going to get his eyes open now? Hey yeah, hey yeah. Wow, that's got a strong head. Hey yeah. Hey yeah. He's hey, hungry. Hey. Hey. You're Uncle Tom? Yeah, you are. You want some food? It's on the way. Oh, 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 it's coming. Oh, <laughs> 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 You ready? Oh, 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 oh. Whoa, He's uh, a hungry Horace! That is a hungry Horace right there! Oh, you enjoying that? Yeah, you are. You okay? Yeah! Well, I, I, I just fed the baby. You were halfway through dinner. I, I, you were halfway through dinner and you've just fallen asleep at the dinner table. What are you doing? What's just happened? My guy, my guy you've, still got, you've still got milk left! <laughs> Mate, he's absolutely passed out! Look at him! <laughs> He's so content. Dude, that right there, that's your little baby boy. That's him. Oh, that's so the case. Oh, I'm saying it. I'm even more excited for baby. I'm even more excited. They're so casual, like, stuck. One second. Fucking hell, it's a loud one. Cracky, that was loud, but honestly, they're so meant to be parents. They're so chill, so laid back, so relaxed. It's just so lovely to see. I, I just can't wait for like a couple of years time. Like, us all hanging out as family and friends. Like, I don't want to wish time by, but the fact that we're all doing this together is just so, it's amazing, isn't it? I can't believe it, we're so lucky. Thanks for that, mate. Thanks, Dad, I'm just chatting shit about you. <laughs> See you later. I thought it was the guys who were jet washing the drive chasing after us, but what are you going to say? People plan for this and it doesn't work out like yes. this. Yes. Oh, I bet that's nice. Warm. Warm, well, not it's from five guys. That's flat. That's flat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just, I'm, I need a drink. <laughs> I just can't believe that all this time I was, I was just like, when I'm 30, when I'm 30, when I'm 30, and I was saying when I was 30, just to keep people at bay. And then maybe the time might be right. And I always thought like, oh, chances are I'm probably going to get to 30 and the time won't be right. But then it was like, before I was even 30, I was like, the time is, the time does feel right. And then everything just happened with our like friends and our family and them having like babies and just situations in life that just got to a point. I was like, well, the world works in weird ways. And this is our clan's next adventure. Mm -hmm. You're gonna be a great one. I can't wait. Well, Twiggy, the families get bigger, nice. Hello again, we're back. What's that? So quick, what busy? Da, 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 da. Wait, what is this? Wait, what? <laughs> who's... Sorry, but who sent this in? What is going on? I need context yeah, I know. immediately. I know it's there. Kimberly from Scotland <laughs> has managed to send this in. What on earth? Oh, Kimberly, never stop being you and keep doing what makes you happy and appreciate every good view you get to see. Lots of love from Kimberly. Kimberly, thank you. That is absolutely belting. <laughs> I've got I've got a vote, Alice. I think we take this and we put it like into here with these because that is so good. Hey, up. We've been sent something. Oh, one day at a time. Oh, that's cute. A gift from Luke. Hey, Alice, Carl, Tom, and Lydia. I lost my mum, who would have been fifty this this year, um, to liver cancer. This helped me through the, my my tough times. I'm sorry to hear about Gordon earlier this year, but amazing about Ken from Luke. Oh, Luke, that is lovely. Thank you. Well, it's never a, a dull day at the office. Alice has got me in to try on new hats. Hey! Oh, yeah! Yeah, it's way, at the back. that is way better texture. I like it. What's down? Oh, and this Oh, this is the so floppy this material. Before, this is after, and this, this is the is new material. This is the second sample. Oh, nice. Make sure, this is, again, I've said it before, we always like to get things perfect. Yeah, oh, very nice. Oh, yeah, that feels way better. Yeah, oh, that is so much better. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yep. So, we're going to run grey with white. Yep. White with black, yeah. Black with white, yeah. Restock and you want cream with black, yeah. 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 Look at that, straight back from Italy, and we're getting yes. shit done. Go on, go on then. It's seen as well back in Syndicate Original. We're gonna go ahead and try a new monster. We're gonna go for a chaos. 
Well, that sounds like it's going to go great. Now, I could be wrong, but I believe this one's from China. China? <laughs> and the survey says... Oh, it's like a flat juice. Could be wrong. Oh my gosh. Just off the first sip, that is one of the nicest monsters I've tried. It's because it's from China. Well, and, you, and you are absolutely right. Every single monster should be this size. I think it's a 330 mil can or something yeah. like that. That's well better. The thing is out there, the... <sighs> Now come here a second. Thank you very much for looking after Kevin whilst I've been gone. You bought, you got your present. You did? Yeah. Thanks for what? looking after him. A dog? No, I've not bought you another dog. It's at the house, Chameleon. so I'm going to have to give it to you. Thank you. Right, I think you might enjoy it. And it just never stops. Look at this. Even more swag has been sent to the P.O. box to the point where it's in the back of Alice's boot. So from this one, and it's going to get added to the P.O. box unboxing collection, which I'm hopefully going to be doing very soon as a big bonus live stream. So for those of you who are wondering, Tom, I've said it, you something in front of the P.O. box. Where is it? Well, now you know. I'll be setting it up soon. I'll be telling you the details and we're going to do a, like, a, a full day of chatting, chilling, and P.O. Box chaosness. Isn't that right, doggy? Showing that off to me. Is so nice. I love it. I, Why am I? I, you know what I'm thinking? I might ask. Why don't, Alice, are you ready? Why don't you just do both? Because you clearly like it like that. Lydia likes it like that, but I like it with black. Love it like By the way, it looks way better with this new new, new light material. Oh, it feels so much so better. Secure as well. <laughs> Look at you, baby mama. Oh yeah, baby mama. <laughs> Where are we going now? Look, at, we're going outside. Look at the weather. It's like being back in Italy. Minus the absolutely gorgeous lakes in front of you. Uh, wait, when did this happen? Today. You got the new brand, la brand new laptop working. Oh, mum, I'm so proud of you. Nino did it. Yeah. The best Italian addition to this family. Look at that. A month later after buying it. Have I just spotted this? Is that what I gave you in a Christmas cracker one time? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a little keyboard USB Hoover. Cracking. Now, this is a bit of a random one. Yeah. Do you know why we've got the summer collection coming out? Well, we have to think in advance for not releasing the next design in the wrong time. But we're talking about, we've always wanted to do a Christmas jumper, but getting custom stuff done is a long turnaround time. Yeah. However, in one of the previous vlogs, I designed the concept for a Christmas jumper and everyone in the comments was like, love it, love it, love it. If only it could be an actual Christmas jumper, not like something printed on a, like, a jumper. Well, someone reached out to me, of which I forwarded to Alice, yeah. from a company that makes fully customised, like, you call this knitted, right? Oh, yeah. Knitted products, so we can actually make a knitted Christmas jumper. They, they make stuff for, like, Harry Potter. Proper legit company. Wait, is it Brandon we're giving what? a shout-out yeah, to? Yeah, Brandon. Brandon? Like, thanks Harry for Potter getting in touch with me. I read, like, all stuff. my emails, and I'm like, half the time I'm deleting half of them. But I saw this one, I was like, I'll send this one on to Alice. She got it, and then she was like, <laughs> belt in email that, Tom. So it turns out that the turnaround time is actually doable for us to do our first ever proper knitted Christmas jumper. Imagine that lion, but we're like, it's a Santa's hat on the back, right? Stop, stop looking into it too weird. And then a bunch of other stuff. But what, yeah, what did mum say? What, so oh, was it we, Nino? We were, we were talking about designing the Christmas jumper and what you could put on it, <laughs> it right? Off. Yeah. And Nino just came up with the best slogan. It's so good. Christmas is too short, make the most. <laughs> That's so good. Great suggestion. Great suggestion. See now, I'm gonna plant the seed right here because we're doing the the pre-order drop for the summer collection design. And, and we just and, decide, and, and we the just date. decided now that we're gonna start the pre-order. Is it next? Next Monday. Next Monday is when we're gonna start the pre-order, but obviously we know people are really busy, they might be on holiday, they might be away. So we're gonna start the pre-order and we're gonna give you guys like a week to get the pre-order in if you do wanna get it, because obviously we've got the giveaway that we're doing with it, which is gonna be absolutely epic. But we're being proactive now. We're trying to be a proactive what company. With this? Yeah, listen, we had a, a slow a slow start to the yeah. year, respectfully, but now we're getting on top of it and we've got the summer drop coming. But we also might be able to do a pre-order for people whether or not they would want a custom Christmas jumper. We've seen the demand of it year after year, but we've right. never been on it enough in time. But since I've been back vlogging and we're being proactive. We might get it done. And we've what? also pulled the trigger on the caps. They're now in. And the caps are customised again. They're good. Look at this. Karen's just working in the background on an ironing board. So, it's cracking. 
So what we'll try and do is get some <laughs> like some mock-ups of brain ideas brain. that we're gonna do, and then we'll put it to a vote whether or not people like want this one or the other one. We'll get samples. And as soon as we finish the uh, the summer collection drop from Syndicate Original, we'll be starting the winter Christmas jumper. I'm sorry, just. <laughs> I'm really hoping that going into 2024, we're a bit more stable and on top of it as a... I'm going to be a dad. There's no, no way. It's going to get worse. Oh, <laughs> shit, the bed. Well, I know I did just say I was going to do a P.O. Box uh, live stream, but this one's going to get open right now because look at the little look at the little jelly man on the side of it. This has to be said right now. Doodles on the P.O. Box stuff you send really get my attention and I absolutely love it. So what have we been sent inside this one? Oh. Hi Tom, I hope you and the family are doing well. Just want to say I love the vlogs and watch them every day. You bring so much positivity and energy to the channel. You, uh, you remind me to keep positive and make the most of life daily. You mentioned you're doing a photo competition for your clothing brand. Admittedly, I do not own any syndicate original pieces. However, I'm a creative fashion photographer and would love to work with you. It's something I'm very passionate about and I'm always looking for like-minded individuals to collaborate with. Inside this envelope are some of my pictures that I've taken Courtney Hash. Courtney, that is absolutely lovely. Look at this. Whoa! She's swaggy with the camera. Oh, imagine me dripped out like that. <laughs> oh, I like this. I like the I like this style. Imagine if we went and did a photo shoot and Mum and Nina looked like that, like retroed, retroed out, but wearing the new <laughs> summer collection shirt. By the way, leave a like rating if you'd like to see the full entire family do a photo shoot for the new drop. But Courtney, thank you so much for reaching out and sending over your images. I will save your Instagram in my phone now in case we need someone, we know where to go because our camera guy that we usually use, but he moved to Australia. Mother, I know you're shattered, you're on the floor, but how do you feel like going to a wedding? Shannon and Matthew are getting married all the way in New York and I've been invited. Imagine if I actually went to every single wedding I got invited to. The content would be absolutely cracking. However, guys, I do appreciate that. But with a very pregnant girlfriend just around the corner, I don't think I'm going to be able to make it. However, you two are adorably cute and I wish you all the best. Now, I'm in the passenger seat of a car that you wouldn't usually recognise. But oh boy, look who's behind the wheel. Twitchy McTwitcherson. I call Alice this because when she's driving, she goes like this with a shoulder. <laughs> but I'm actually getting physio for it. I have a bad shoulder. Don't take the piss. No, I'm not taking the piss. I'm just <laughs> pointing out for... Ah! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bang! You're an idiot! You're already dead! You're already dead! Listen, I did mean to bring the Nerf guns. I promised him that we're going to bring Nerf guns. And I'm going to text him saying I'm on the way and we're going to have a Nerf war. No, 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 I need food. Please, let me in. Let, let me in. My chameleon needs food. Look at this private service. Ooh. The place was up. The, the swell was about to shut. And I was like, no, I know the exact man for the job. Look at that, Randy. I've got myself some food secured. Yeah, for you, <laughs> Kevin appreciates it, so yeah, thank you. Thank you. And time for the same old joke. Found him. Till next time. Um, Taxi for Tom. Ta taxi for Tom. Thank you. All right, thanks for bringing me to swell. Part of the deal is if she drives me to swell, because... I haven't got I haven't got any car to drive at the moment. I'm going to explain it hopefully in tomorrow's vlog for everyone who's been wondering what's going on, what's going on. Get I think after there. the phone call I've had today, I can finally talk about it. So back again at Starbucks. I freaking live here. Ah! <laughs> You're a fucking idiot. God. Coffee for Alice. That was bad. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you selling your window over, you freak? What? That really scary. <laughs> Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if security came running out. You yelped. Did you not get me a server? No. I uh, know. Oh my god, show me that video back. <laughs> Replay. <laughs> <laughs> Good to know that if something goes wrong, your reaction is not to punch someone, go defensive. You just close your eyes and hope for the best. All right, now for a bit behind the scenes, I'm getting the Merc back on the road. Oh, <laughs> one step closer. Oh, I've missed this thing. That's where the revs come in. Now, now you can give it some. Oh. <laughs> All it needs now is a wash. Thank you, mechanic and apprentice. Till next time. See you later. Oh, that was the final step of a several step process to get this thing back to being on the road now the battery wasn't the reason why it's not been on the road and i'm going to explain to as to why it wasn't in a later video because it's going to take a sit down tom discussion about it but basically 
we might have it back. But oh, he's a happy boy, he's got some food. And then everyone in the comments is like, no, don't get distracted with the chameleon, focus on the car. Of which I'm gonna say, calm down, dear. Take a breath and a breather. I've got something in the works. Oh no, well we can't bloody stage it, can we? Look at this. So, sorry, the vlog's literally just gone live. <clears throat> An hour late, my bad. But Jenny, what do you think of our house that's now a home? <laughs> I'll stop saying it eventually, I promise. Oh, honestly, how cosy is this? I love it. Just wait until you have dinner here, it's even better. And us returning is the gift that keeps on giving. This is for you, it's from... Dun 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 dun! Deidre! <laughs> from Ireland. So Aww. I'm going to keep the card, but you get to keep the pot oh, figure. she's just been in Ireland! Really? Oh. Go on, grab... Is it Deidre or Deidre? That's the question. Not good. Cool. Oh, hey. It's a piggy! Oh, <laughs> so cute! Thank you. Know. Do you know what else, right? Can you open this one? I've been staring at this one. It's got... Uh, this is so random, but the ones with like sparkly colours on and stuff. Catch my attention. So you're gonna have to just tear. Oh no, it's ripped. And the survey says, the survey says, what is it? 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 It felt hard. So... Wait, what? I'm back. What? Oh. 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 <laughs> it's a what? Oh, is that what it is? Is that. I, I... <laughs> I've got a clue. Oh. Oh. Is that a puppet? What? Oh my gosh, these are so good for storm snacks. Oh! This is the best thing ever. We can play the little red hen. Oh! That's cute. Yeah, I knew there was something heavy in there. I could feel it. What is it? I'm actually looking for a note. I found it! Hip hip hooray! Oh, two Tom, Lydia, Jellyman and Arlo. Uh oh, something's for Arlo. Uh -oh. I've been watching your vlogs for 10 years and I also reward card for you and Lydia and a yeah, voucher for it. Beef Eater. Never been. For what? Oh, Beef Eater, it's a food place. I thought you meant the Beef Eater. Jay, put, put a picture of a Beef Eater from London. I thought you meant something to do with that guy, not the place. What, you didn't have to send this? Oh, I invite Lydia, uh, you and Lydia to come for a meal at Harbour Light in Portsmouth. I work there from Mullane, Mullane Dan from Portsmouth, UK. Oh, hang on a minute. P.S. the chicken is for Arlo and Jellyman the elephant. Oh. Hey! Oh. Oh, that's really cute, actually. Look at what you've got. Wait, what's this? 74 barbecue sauce. What? Oh, so yeah, they definitely work at Beef Eater. Because they're sending us the special sauce. Melanie, thank you. Now, you know what? I'm going to keep the gift trend going, and I'm going taking my mum and Nino a present or two for pet sitting whilst we were away. But before I go, let me show you what I got them. I got them some limoncello, which mum already guessed and knows I've got her. I don't know how she did it. She went, she went, you brought me limoncello, aren't you? And I was like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it is, isn't it? But I thought, yeah, we'll get them some of that. But then I got them a bottle of grappa, which if you remember, Lydia, how pissed was I after I drank a bit of that? Bloody, I don't even know how strong this stuff is, but I bought them a bottle of that to enjoy. So, grazie, prego. Hang, hang on a minute. You've got to be kidding me. H how? It was gorgeous. It was lovely. What? It raining. Come on now. We all know the real reason I'm here, and it's to go and say hello to the Italian stallion. And no, I don't mean Nino. This is just some turbo nos for the Ferrar. Now I know you know I've got your limoncello right around. Now, what other alcohol could I have got you back from Italy? Uh, really? Mmm. I know what my first thought would be. What? Only because we were talking about it when you called. What? Is it a bit of grappa? Yes! I got you some grappa! Oh my god. Bro, I'm not gonna lie, mate. It absolutely blew my. Oh, it does. Thank you so much. Yeah, we. Uh, rather than having whiskey or whatnot, because he didn't have J uh, Johnny Walker or whatever, he was like, why don't you try some grappa? And I did, and. It's like paraffin. Wow, did I learn to regret that one? <laughs> Where have you been, Tokyo? Get out! Get a lot of that in you. Forty-one point five percent. Do not consume while smoking. You may explode. And hello, Twiggy. Hello, Twiggy. Nice to see you again. But all right, away we go. And goodbye, my friend. Me and Nino were just talking about it. We need to go and do a track day, like a private track day or a drag strip. His Ferrari, my GTR. Ooh, wouldn't that be good? Oh, but I'm home, sweet home. And you know what it's time for. It's been, it's been so long since I've done this, but it's time. Give me that laptop and get me in that God-gifted chair so I can sit back, relax, and reply to some YouTube comments.
lovely. You know this is why I love you, right? We can go to Italy and be eating like the maddest meals, and then as soon as we're back in England, boom, scrambled eggs on toast. <laughs> Yes, I love it. And I just love this, sitting back, replying to your guys' comments. Look at this, I'm, I'm active, man, I'm active. But I'm actively here in the next day. Mm. Um, yeah. There's been a bit of a time skip, isn't that right? Rabbit. But oh dear, it has happened. The war against YouTube has officially re-begun. I've been, the past three months I've been vlogging, I've been like, I can't believe it. There's been people subscribing to the channel. It's been absolutely epic. However, the last week, YouTube has been deleting old inactive accounts more than new people have been subscribing. So we actually hit 25, I was going to say 25 million and that's not right. We actually hit 2 million. 580,000 subscribers. And I tweeted it out like, thank you guys so much. We're on the road to 2.6 million. It's absolutely insane. And then within the space of two days, oh, we've gone back under it, all because YouTube's deleting all the counts. I get it. I understand it. But I feel like I'm back at the 10 million subscriber point of like going above it, below it, above it, below it. So I'm just going to kind of beg quite nicely. I know you guys watch these videos and I'm glad you enjoyed them. But if you can subscribe to the channel, and help get us to 2.8 million. We're tw we're actually 20,008 subscribers away from that goal. And I would love to see if by the end of the year we could hit that. But the only way it's going to happen is if you guys share the video with your friends or your family, tell them to subscribe and let them know if they would enjoy the vlogs. Because do you know what's mad? Andy, my gardener, just came by and he says him and his partner watch it, his parents watch it, and his nephew watches it. Like, the, the demographic of this audience is absolutely insane. And I'm still currently only, like, doing random bits of my life. Like, yeah, I've done a lot of traveling, which I would like you to honestly answer me right now. Do you guys prefer, and you can't be like, all of it, Tom, it's just all the best. Don't lie to me. Do you guys prefer the traveling vlogs where I'm going off and about and doing things? Or do you prefer, like, the home vlogs where I'm getting on with projects? Because, again... I know this is now the next day. I've made more phone calls, more emails, more texts to pursue what's going on. And if it all comes through and pays off, everything you know in the life of Tom, with like my friends, my family, where I live, what I'm doing and how I'm doing it will change forever. So let me know in the comments down below. I'm going to go. I'm rambling at the end of this video, but that's what happens when you give me a laptop, a table to chill at and an absolutely terrible view to not talk about. But right, I'm gonna have to go. So listen to me right here, right now. If you enjoy the videos, leave a like rating, make sure you click that subscribe button, ding that the notification bell, and I will see you guys tomorrow at 7 p.m.-ish for the next weekday vlog. I'm sorry yesterday's was late, my bad. But until tomorrow, I'm gonna love you, I'm gonna leave you, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow for the next weekday vlog. Asadios.